Hello everyone and welcome to another Simply Gone tutorial. Today we're going to cover how to transform this vegetation asset into a billboard cloud using Maya. While we are using Maya for this video, we'd like to remind you that the Simply Gone UI is pretty much universal across all the software that we support, so you should be able to follow along with this tutorial with your chosen supported application. A billboard cloud is a reduction algorithm that converts a mesh into a group of flat textured planes or billboards that approximate the silhouette of the mesh. This provides a far lower polygon count while still maintaining a consistent appearance when the object is ready for reduction, a tree with around 30,000 polygons. It's not an incredibly dense mesh, but it's one that we can optimize nicely using a billboard cloud. Selecting our asset and clicking on Add LOD Component allows us to pick between templates. For example, Basic Billboard Cloud for Vegetation is a preset tuned to get a good result in most cases. Advanced Billboard Cloud for Vegetation provides finer control over the processing. We're going to use the Advanced template in order to show you all the controls. First, we're going to remove any unnecessary material casters, ambient, specular and incandescent. We'll leave color, transparency, which we need so we can see through the gaps in the object, and normal. Right, now let's have a look through the other settings. Favor Vertical Planes is great for flat, simple assets we view from a single height, but we may want to see the tree from a higher elevation, for example, so we're going to leave this off. Two-sided stays on as this allows both sides of a plane to be visible. Visibility Weights enables Simply Gone to prioritize areas that are more generally visible when generating billboards, so we'll leave that on. Now onto the sliders, billboard density is essentially the complexity of the resulting cloud of billboard planes from 0 to 1. The higher the number, the more billboards will be generated when approximating the mesh. Max plane count allows you to place an absolute cap on the number of billboard planes, allowing you to stop the cloud from becoming too complex. Geometric complexity determines how closely Simplygon cuts the billboard planes to the outline of the asset. It's a balance between the number of geometry vertices and overdraw. The middle setting of 0.5 is a good starting point. And for this asset, we can reduce overdraw by upping the geometric complexity to 0.95. Under the foliage settings, you can choose separate trunk and foliage, which will mean only the foliage is replaced by billboards. Trunk geometry is reduced in accordance with the trunk reduction ratio. When a given asset LOD is placed more closely, this can produce a better result, but for longer distances, you don't need to use it. We'll leave this on as we want to use this LOD a little closer. The sliders here allow you to fine-tune how foliage and trunk are separated. Some experimentation here can produce good results, but as usual the defaults are often good too. We found 0.2 on the ratio works well with this asset. Under Output Material Size, we can choose the size of the material we output. Texture Size setting ultimately depends on the size of the asset and the distance at which you'll be viewing it from. If it's an incredibly large, distant object, for example, you may want to bump this up a little bit. We'll use 1024 by 1024 for this, as it's for mid-distance. Okay, it's time to process the asset. And there we go, it's done. Now, sometimes the material might not be set up correctly in Maya. As you can see, we have some artifacts here. These are caused by the specularity being set too high. So I'm going to go into the Attribute Editor, and after selecting the Billboard Cloud, I'll turn the specularity down. The asset is now around 4,000 polygons as opposed to 33,000, which is a big reduction. Most of the remaining poly count is actually the trunk, which we separated, and the billboard cloud itself is only 63 polygons. We could reduce the asset much further by including the trunk in the billboard clouds too. For now though, we'll bring this billboard cloud into Unreal. Okay, so let's import this into Unreal. It really is very easy, and if you're familiar with importing assets, it follows the same standard procedure here. First, I'm going to import the exported mesh from Maya. And I'm also going to drag in all the textures that were exported as well. First, let's make a material for the leaves. I simply drag in the textures for the leaves and then hook up the color to base color input, normal to the normal. And then I quickly change the shading model to two-sided foliage and the blend model to masked. Also, make sure you have two-sided selected on your material here. I've then used the translucency texture from Maya as the opacity mask, which then stencils out the leaves correctly. I very quickly created material for the bark and the stump in the same fashion. So our tree is untextured at the moment, as you can see. The material slot isolation buttons are really useful here for seeing what polygons are assigned to what textures. First, let's assign the bark material, which I can see is for material slot 01. 
Next, let's do the leaves. And finally, the stump. And there we have it. It's a billboard clout tree. It really is that easy when importing into Unreal. You could also import this as the last LOD in your mesh chain if you like, which we did in our previous imposter tutorial if you would like to see that. As you can see, much like the imposter plane gate we did in the last tutorial, it actually holds up really, really well from a distance. Arguably, it's even better than the LOD Zero Mesh. This is one thing that I really like about SimpliCon. The reduction of the meshes is not only quick, but the lower LOD levels still look great from a distance. It reduces a lot of harsh pop-in, which is key to a good-looking LOD system. So, there we go. We hope you've enjoyed this Billboard Cloud tutorial, showing how we've preserved the beauty of this mighty tree while saving a whole lot of polys simply and quickly. For more information about our suite of tools and documentation, head to simplygon.com. Remember to hit the subscribe button and follow our social media channels to stay up to date with the latest news and tutorials from SimpliGon.